were talking about whether or not anyone had ever, if you had done a sketch for anyone, they just said, you know what, you can just keep that. Like they didn't even want it at all. No interest in what you had just produced for them, even if they'd paid for it. Or, I might add, had not paid for it yet, and still <laughs> were like, you know what, just keep it, which is why I don't usually do stuff for free up front anymore. And I told Russ, no, I have, I have had people give them just right back. At Phoenix Comic Con, my second year there, I had a young man ask me for an Electra. Now, I had never really drawn Electra for anybody as a commission, but I'm, I feel confident in my sexy lady skills. <laughs> and I produced a very respectable Electra. When I was actually, I was like, whoa, all right, I'm like, do it. <laughs> and I used my gray, you know, shadowy markers. So, I mean, I put a little work into it. So, I was like, I'm getting this $25. At the time, I was charging way too little for sketches. <laughs> so I get done. He walks up the next day. He's like, "Hey, I'm back with my sketch because I had a because I had a list that I had to do." He sees it and goes, "You just keep it." And he didn't say, "I don't want to pay for." It. He just said, "You just keep it." And I'm like, "But it's done." And you asked me to do it. He said, and "He just kind of did this and wandered into the crowd." <laughs> <laughs> I thought, "How do you do that?" It was a good sketch. I ended up giving somebody else for 10 bucks. They just took it, they wanted it. I had a very similar thing happen two more times that same weekend. And it must just be that I'm a sucker for letting people not pay me in the beginning.